not breathing correctly, bad posture. Um, so breath, let's, so let's take breath first. There's a really strong link between the diaphragm and the pelvic floor. So if you are, and posture is also linked to that as well. So if you're sitting with bad posture, your diaphragm is never being able to move in the correct way up and down. So you're not getting that kind of like massage, that, that massage effect on the organs. And there should be a, um, a reactive relationship between the diaphragm and the pelvic floor which gets switched off as soon as you bend into bad posture so posture is really important and breathing correctly is really important as well so getting that nice full deep belly breath so the diaphragm can drop down and then as the diaphragm lifts up as you exhale it should be kind of a, a tension created in the pelvic floor because the whole unit lifts and then as you ex um, inhale it and then exhale it lifts and then inhale it drops so there should be that nice unit lifting up and down as the diaphragm lifts up and down and a lot of people have got that all disconnected or have a we call a twisted breath pattern where um where you breathe when you i can't do it because i've spent so long <laughs> trying not to do it but it's when i'm gonna let me try and see if i can do it breathing yeah when they breathe in their belly comes in instead of out and then oh, as you breathe out, your belly goes out. It's it's so surprising how many people have that pattern, though. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I mean, certainly when people come to me the first time, I would say 90% of people have that dysfunctional breathing pattern. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's that. And, and of course, as you know, and um, the breath is obviously um, – connected strongly to the fight or flight response which if you've got if you're not breathing correctly uh, then your body's in a complete stress response because oxygen is its main source of fuel and um, it's quite stressful for the body not to be breathing correctly so when that happens you've got that tension that's created because the nervous system's in fight or flight which then shuts down the pelvic floor um, there's the research has shown that in women the first two muscles to react when uh, when under stress are the upper traps in the neck and the pelvic floor it's that tightening of everything and uh, so if those are constantly switched on you're going to have neck pain and you're going to have back pain 